The recipe I'm making for you now is a Dutch baby. Now, it's really a German pancake, and you may not say, well, you may say that, well, that's not really a baked good, but it is because it's a baked pancake. And the word Dutch doesn't sound German, but somewhere along the line, somebody couldn't pronounce Deutsch, and it came out Dutch baby, and so it stuck. One of the things you want to remember when you're baking is most of your stuff should be at room temperature. That means your eggs, your milk, your butter, even your flour, everything should be at room temperature. For this recipe, we're going to do the whole thing in a blender. Right now, I have a 10 inch cast iron skillet in a 375 degree oven getting warm because we want, when this pancake batter hits it, we want it to puff up. So we're going to start in the mixer by putting in one half cup of flour, teaspoon of salt, and now another dry ingredient we're going to add is something called vanilla sugar. Vanilla sugar is regular white sugar and you can see in there that there are vanilla beans and if you leave the vanilla beans in there for a long time the sugar takes on a wonderful vanilla taste. I actually got this at a very nice spice place in Hadley, Massachusetts called the Southern New England Spice Company. If you're ever in the area, you should stop in there. They have really wonderful stuff and the prices are great. Another thing you can do with vanilla beans, which I picked up there, was I brought them home and I split the vanilla beans open. I put them in a jar and then I filled this mason jar with vodka. And you let this sit around for about six months and you're making your own vanilla extract. This is approximately two months old. So it's by the holidays, it'll be in good shape to be used. So going back to the vanilla sugar, we're going to add, I'm going to open it here. I'm going to add two tablespoons of the vanilla sugar. If you don't have vanilla sugar, use regular sugar, two tablespoons, and then throw in about a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now we will add two eggs, again, room temperature eggs, half a cup of room temperature milk, not a difficult recipe, and one tablespoon of melted butter. Now I'm going to make a little bit of noise while we blend this for approximately 30 seconds. All right, I can see how my flour is not getting mixed in as well. So I'll give it a little help. Okay. Now what we're going to do is take our um, cast iron skillet out of the oven and we're going to add two tablespoons of butter to the skillet, swirl it around and coat it. So, if you don't have a cast iron skillet, you should invest in one. They're wonderful. And I'm just gonna coat it all. Yes, you do need the two tablespoons. It also helps the batter. Try to get it up on the sides. This is a really inexpensive, easy, quick recipe to do if you're having house guests over a weekend. I'll show you how to serve it. There's several ways to serve it, but we'll show you that in a minute. Let's just give this a little pulse. Okay, now into our pan. And it's going to go back in that 375 degree oven for about 30 to 35 minutes until it puffs up and gets browned. And then when you take it out of the oven, it's going to fall. Don't worry about it. That's what it's supposed to do. So we'll see you back in about half an hour. Whew. Here's our Dutch baby out of the oven. As you can see the sides rose up, the middle kind of rose up. This is exactly the way it should look. It, this may even fall a little bit more, but probably should have should wait another minute or two to serve it, but who can wait? Mm, you can smell that vanilla sugar. Ooh, that's hot. 
can see how when you cut it, it falls. It's just like a big pancake. The traditional way to serve it, just powdered sugar. But my way to serve it, some of this apple syrup, which is just delicious. I've got my coffee, I have my Dutch baby, that's all I need.